What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this Champions League final video. I understand by the time this video goes line, uh, live, sorry, the Champions League final will in fact be very, very close to starting. So um, before I do go ahead and build this squad, it is a Champions League final squad which has Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid players. But I want to know what is your prediction for the game. I am going to go with 3-1 to Real Madrid, but personally, I don't really mind who wins. I really like both teams. Atletico Madrid have had an outstanding season, and uh, I really like their squad. I, have, I really like their manager too, and overall, I would be very happy for them to win it, but I also love watching Real Madrid play. They're so attacking, and you know they just got amazing quality in their side. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Like I said, I'm going to go 3-1 Real Madrid, and I reckon Ronaldo's going to pick up at least one which is a kind of standard sort of deal but uh let's talk a little bit about our fifa team that we're building here featuring some atletico madrid and real madrid players now um our defense has got the team of the seasons in it it's got uh louise and juan fran and also courtois i didn't have the uh team of the season sergio ramos and um I decided to go with Varane because I really like Varane as a centre back in this game. Bear in mind, guys, I don't. Uh, it, these aren't necessarily starting players, or whatever. It's just solely for FIFA. I doubt uh, Varane will actually be starting the game, or uh, he actually might do. I'm not too sure what the suspension si uh, situation is. I haven't looked into that just yet. But um, yeah. Uh, anyways, this is the team that I'm kind of rolling with. You got team of the season, Gabby. Gabby only goes for like 50k, by the way, guys. And for that, that is a real steal. You guys can take a look at him. Um, and also another player that you can get is actually the team of the season uh Koke but he's a right winger and I really wanted to have um team of the season Di Maria at right wing so that's why I decided um to put Koke at a uh, center midfield instead but overall that midfield's pretty solid I went with Xabi Alonso just because I needed some sort of form of defense uh my uh, fullbacks and things are quite attacking as it is and then having Gabby and also an attacking mid in there I needed someone to sit back and just anchor the team in a 4-3-3 you can get caught on the counter quite a lot especially if you don't have someone relatively defensive in that back line i decided to go with team of the season diego costa because let's be honest this card looks ridiculous and i'll talk to you guys a little bit more about this card in the uh, as we look at some of the goals i scored with this team but diego costa i mean he's got 89 pace with the sort of strength he's got is ridiculous like i said at right wing i did want i did want di maria di maria is look at the stats for the amount of money by the way these players are costing i mean last year it, uh, a 90 rated player you're looking at over a million now you i picked up di maria for like 300 000 coins um diego costa around that too so you know it is just a real you know i was just like what is going on here it's madness anyways at left mid of course we do have ronaldo it isn't team of the season ronaldo i didn't have the funds to make that happen but of course you want to have him left wing and not left uh not left a mid sorry um if you are using him just because he gets more involved in the game and also for the sake of chemistry you actually do one of his left wing here but uh yeah anyways so this 4-3-3 you guys know i don't tend to make a lot of squads but if you have a player like Ronaldo in the team, you want to get the most out of him. And that's exactly why I uh, went with the 4-3-3 because he's so much more involved there. And this actually works out really nicely with a player like Diego Costa. He's got the perfect physique to play in a 4-3-3. He's, uh, you know, good in the air. Um, he's good at holding the ball up. He's very strong in the middle. And then he can play the ball out wide to Ronaldo, who is more than capable of scoring some goals. And the likewise for Di Maria on the right wing. So overall, it is a pretty nasty team. As you guys can see, this is Di Maria right here. The game was actually pretty laggy. I wish this guy paid his internet bill, but cuts inside there. And how about that for a finish? Top of the net. That is just an absolutely beautiful finish. Anyway, so um, he managed to do that to him. And uh, overall, this team is good. But like I said, I do get countered very quickly. So I have to be a little bit careful. But how about that from a finish from my left back, Felipe Luiz? And uh, yeah, I was, I was really impressed. I honestly thought that was maybe um, Ronaldo or even Gabby or something like that. But that was my left back. So I was really impressed with that. Uh, Ronaldo just doing nasty things there end up being able to draw foul using his five star skill moves as I go for a McGeady spin inside the box and it works out well for me and uh, as you can see company makes the error and uh, Ronaldo you know when he steps up to a penalty if you you know you kind of go the right way you're gonna you're gonna bury that penalty and even you know even if the keeper guesses the right way a lot of the time if you're good at penalties you will still be able to bag, the, uh, bag it away anyways uh, he thinks I'm going down the middle you know I used to do that a lot but a lot of people started to catch on to that and uh, people started predicting that a lot of people going down the middle so I stopped doing that a lot recently. Anyways, a nice one-two through ball. And how about that for a finish? Really nicely tucked away. And that was Diego Costa kind of playing that role that I said. You know, he he's strong in the middle. He can hold the ball up and then just play the runners through. It's quite strange. How about this from um, Di Maria? Look at that. The uh, advanced round bill flick, roulette, and then with his left peg, 
Oh my god, that is just so dirty. Off of the off of the goal, um, they just scored against me. I managed to come back with that. Like, D this Di Maria card is ridiculous. Him and Costa are so, so good. One front, a great ball in. How about that for a cross? And sink it on the nugget. So that is going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you did all enjoy this video. And of course, if you guys would like any coins, you can check out the foot shop. Um, I really recommend, you know, as soon as you buy some of those coins, go ahead and pick up yourself a Di Maria and a Diego Costa and make a Liga BBB side because that is just a whole lot of fun so please go ahead and do that guys hope you did all enjoy this video and if you did make sure you leave a like and most importantly leave your prediction of how you think the champions league final will end tonight because i'm excited to see what's going to go down i uh, hope you guys all have a fantastic time and uh, yeah don't forget to use calfreezy at checkout when you go to the foot shop um it's discounted instant coins all that good shenanigans every all the info will be in the description anyways have a fantastic time and i'll see you guys later Bye bye